going to continue our discussion today on managing nitrogen as a system and we're going to highlight nitrogen stabilizers today and we're going to break it into two categories those that work above ground and those that work below ground the above ground ones tend to focus on reducing volatilization losses from urea fertilizers and the below ground tend to work on nitrification so when we talk about uh, volatilization losses, invariably it's a urease enzyme that is uh, attacking the urea molecule and driving off free ammonia. The main component that's used to uh, stabilize this nitrogen is um, N-butyl thiophosphoric trimide, or we're going to call it NBPT for short. Compound was developed and formulated by Coke Industries into a product called Agritain Advanced. It can be mixed with uh, UAN or added to urea at, at a blending facility. To understand ammonia loss, it's when the uh, urea is left on the surface, the ure urease enzyme, which is naturally occurring in soil, especially so on crop residues, it uh, starts to break down urea, and at the site of the granule, the pH rises rapidly, and as pH rises, it favors the loss of ammonia. And the more ammonia that comes off, the higher the pH, the higher the pH, the more ammonia, so it starts to feed on itself, and their losses can be quite, quite dramatic. So just how does NBPT work? Well, the urease enzyme is expecting to bind with urea at the nickel binding sites in the enzyme. So the NBPT fits in there nicely and blocks uh, the urea from getting in there. So over time, maybe 14 to 20 days, eventually the uh, NBPT will degrade enough that uh, the urease enzyme will begin to find some urea. But hopefully in that time frame, we've had either rainfall or we've incorporated urea and the losses will, will cease at that point or certainly become lower. So when you look at uh, treated versus untreated UAN, uh, there's about a 53% reduction in, uh, in the volatilization loss on treated UAN, but you gotta remember it's only 50% urea. So at 150 pounds actual N, 50% urea, we're saving about uh, 10 pounds of N on the, uh, on the volatilization loss, which could be enough to stay around and, and produce 11 bushels more corn. So it can be a significant contributor to yield. When we look at uh, putting it on urea, the most important thing to remember is, is that uh, on the far side there, using more nitrogen only means more loss. It does not compensate for using a, a moderate rate of nitrogen that's protected. So more N only means more loss. So the protection is, is quite significant. Again, under UAN, you'll see the uh, gray bars versus the green bars with treated. The yield response is there, and on average, it's about that 11 bushel response that we've uh, we've come to see in some of the uh, research. So going forward, all stabilizers uh, perform better when the environmental conditions or some management situations actually encourage nitrogen loss. Uh, if urea was incorporated or there's a half inch of rain after application, then the losses would be greatly minimized. So the decision to use an NBPT is certainly based on the risk assessment for loss. So the product is off patent. There are many generic formulations on the market. They all have different concentrations of NBPT and different price points. So it's a, a buyer beware situation. And uh, we've been more than help you with, help, glad to help you with those calculations when the time comes. So that's it for today. Back at you tomorrow. Be safe, be healthy.